My name is John Ludwig. I'm the 4-H leader for Olympic Peninsula Rocketeer right here in Jefferson County. Launch it, push it down. There you go. We've got a rocketry club going and we like to do launches for uh, different organizations, groups, schools, and uh, today you're on my list. Now, model rockets can be very small or they can be very big. This one here is made completely out of styrofoam cups. It's about an inch taller than me. It'll go about 300 feet. Are those cups? Yeah, they're styrofoam cups. That's what he just said. Oh. Can they fly? I'm sorry, Steve was talking to me. Chris, that's what they do. They cool? That's so yeah. Cool. And this one here Whoa. is called a mosquito. And that's what I call a fire and forget rocket because once you fire it, you might as well forget about getting it back. Unless you can keep track of where it lands. Put a GPS system on it. It's very, very small. This one here will go about 300 feet. This one here will go about 900 feet. Oh, I don't know. They're all about three, 400 feet. We're keeping it kind of low because we've got some serious issues with the wind. This one here is called the Starhawk. Anybody see it? There it is. But we launch about once a month. Every month right here in Jefferson County. We, your teacher, your principal there, Mr. Resick, gave, let us use his 80 acres. So we have lots of room to launch rockets. Oh, that's where you go? Yeah. My name is Greg Resick. I'm the principal at Cedarbrook Adventist Christian School. And I was actually over at Boomer's Landing and saw a notice on the bulletin board that John had put up looking for a place to launch rockets. I ended up talking Lin to Linda Gately about it and she put John in touch with me and he came over to our farm and found that to be a suitable site for launching rockets with the 4-H Rocket Club. I also have an interest with that for our school here and just feel there's just a neat scientific value in having the kids learn about sizes of engines, how high they go, proper materials, safety procedures for doing rocket launches, and just feel it's going to be a great experience for these kids to be able to build their own and fire them. It's just neat to see their excitement today. Can we go up and look at what the rockets look like? Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Hi again. Bigger than me. Yeah. Well, you're going to grow, though, and then that rocket's not. So you're going to be plenty like, tall. One, two, three. Four cups bigger than me. <laughs> <laughs> Only four cups. Yeah, wouldn't that be fun? Well, it'll go pretty high, but I'm afraid, like I said, I'll lose it. Are you, are you like, uh, scared that you might lose it? Yeah. If we can find it, could we launch it? Yeah, this is an old kit. This is probably from about 19... Oh, no, no, no. one of them? No, I only have one. Is it irreplaceable? Well, I can make one, but I can't buy one. 